All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to this channel. It's been a long time. I'm sort of resurrecting my andrewsilk.com channel, and we're going to get started again. This is going to be a really rough process. You can see here I am in person, and uh, over time, I'm going to get a better camera. There's literally no lights on in this room. It works better than if I switch the, the light on above. Everything's very lo fi. What this channel is going to be for is me dumping a whole bunch of stuff for 3D onto this channel so that you guys can follow along. Um, now I'm going to be making shoots for create3dcharacters.com. This is the website here, um, create3dcharacters.com. Some of you may already be aware that I run this website. Uh, this is some of my work here. Uh, we make tools as well um, for Maya and it will be later on for other programs too. And I do that with Dave Sparrow, who's my partner in crime. So we make zoo tools. This is um, how we sort of make our money. Um, through the training and the tools. Also, I release a lot of assets, so you can grab them on the site. This is like 40 bucks. You can just buy it once and then unsubscribe and you keep all the tools and the assets forever. Um, upgrades, you know, you can you can do that. Um, I don't really want to talk about the site too much. What I really want to talk about is tutorials and, and how we're going to get back into that and um, put a lot of content on YouTube. Um, so let's uh, just talk a little bit about myself for a second and, and what I plan to do in these future shoots. So uh, I'm primarily, um, my name's Andrew Silk, obviously, and uh, I'm primarily an animator and a previous artist on many, many movies uh, that, you know, you can look up, uh, including Avatar, Gravity, right through to the Batman last year and Shang-Chi and, you know, Marvel films and stuff like that. Um, uh how can I say this? So what I'm trying to do is um, create a really big course of 3D material. So that is, uh, I, I find that there's a problem in the industry and the, and the problem with training on the web is that everyone is, is very good. And there's a lot of people on the web that are very good at, at teaching what I would call specialities. So you've got someone who's very good at teaching, you know, the Arnold renderer, you've got someone teaching very good at teaching animation. Um, not so many people teaching previews, weirdly. Um, that's a way I could go, but um, I don't see a lot of it. But there's probably someone out there teaching previews very well. Um, modeling, hard surface, you know, sculpting. You've got all these different things, substance painter, like texturing, um, lighting, compositing, nuke, um, VFX. You've got someone teaching all this kind of stuff. Um, what I see much less of is, is people trying to, like, you know, bring it all together and actually say, hey, you know, you can create your own films here um, and your own games. So. Uh, I really come from a filmmaking background, which is really my passion and my love, um, especially full animated films, but also VFX. Um, uh, games uh, are also a huge um, part of this world now and only getting bigger and bigger and very exciting with the, you know, the metaverse, whatever you think of the metaverse and all that kind of stuff and computer games coming out. It's just amazing. So what uh, I would like to bring to the table is to sort of encourage people to say, hey, you really can be a generalist at this stuff. You really can learn a lot of things. Okay, it takes a lot of time, uh, no doubt. Like, don't get me wrong. 3D is is pretty hard, insanely hard um, for some people. It's a career, um, it's multiple careers um, if you go into the specialities. Um, I specialize myself in animation previs, um, but I really think that there's an opportunity here to say, hey guys, you can kind of do it all and um, you can learn it in a, in a very structured way over time and get very good. Now I've done this and um, sort of practiced it on my students and I made a lot of mistakes early on and, and got better and better. And many of my students are out in the industry and I, I recently worked at Animal Logic where I, I actually um, animated this leopard seal chase in Happy Feet back in 2006. So that was really weird for me going back there, but I have a lot of my students there, like 14 to 15 students um, all working there. And it was really interesting to, to talk to them and, and catch up. And, and see what they're doing and how they've actually changed in the way that, you know, when I last saw them, they were doing X and they had you know, a certain level of ability, but after, you know, five years in the five to, ten, you know, or more years in the industry, they've all gone different places, places that I, I wouldn't have expected. And, and that's been really interesting to watch them grow, not only at Animal Logic, but at many companies um, all over. I, I'm from Sydney, but um, they've gone all over the world um, to different places. Now, um, so what I'd like to do is sort of like, I've got a lot of stuff in my head, um, almost too much stuff. And I really want to download that and, uh, and put it somewhere, um, even if it's in a really rough form. So that's what this channel is for. This is for dumping tutorials and, and, and lots of information here um, for anyone that can follow along and has the time and the interest. This will not be for everyone. Uh, if you want those short, concise tutorials, 
that's what create 3D characters will be for when I come back and I polish all this stuff up and um, I don't just dump it um, as a huge feed. Um, I could be doing, and maybe later on I might switch over to doing streaming so that people can ask questions as they go along. But I, I want to keep this sort of contained um, for the time being so you can just follow along. Um, Let's press uh, play on my showreel. So you can see where I've sort of come from. This is actually a 2012 showreel. Now I would update my showreel, but I, I have had no real reason to because I can just get work anytime. Um, so here is my showreel from 2012. I have worked on a bunch of stuff since then, obviously. Um, and I've done a lot of coding in the, in the previous four years actually on tools and stuff. But Anyway, this is my showreel from um, many years, mostly animation, but also previews and cameras. Some of this I'm doing animation, some of this I'm doing previews. Um, it's missing a few of the bigger stuff that I worked on too. Um, Avatar is probably my main thing that I like to talk about when I sort of go to the pub, that shot there in particular with the tentacles I rigged and sort of help design that um, and animate it as well. So rig, design, animate it. And I think this is where I'm coming from in the, in the, in the thing. On, on this particular chase, I did a lot of previs. I even modeled the first pass of the leopard seal. I did previs for the entire sequence along with other people. Um, animated the majority of the sequence in the end. Um, you know, uh, So I had a lot to do with this particular um, leopard seal chase in Happy Feet 1, if you remember that one. Um, and I really came from this place where you know we made short films, we did everything. Um, and I, I see this sort of this gap in the industry at the moment where everyone's really like, like I want to be an animator and they just want to get their foot in the door. So they just do their two years of animation training and, and work really hard. And some of them don't make it, but you know, those that do are now animating for the rest of their lives. And that's all they do is this one little part of the 3d process. And I'm like here to say, Hey, even if you are working already, um, you can do many other things. Um, and there's a lot to 3d and. And by having a lot of skills and a broad range of skills when you start early, later on in your career, you can really put a lot of these things together. Like, um, you know, you can even experiment and rig things. And, and there's some things that I did on Moon Knight just last year that was really fun for me, where, you know, you build and you rig things and then you animate them and you can design things. And it just gets really fun um, when you can do a lot of different things. So even though I am a specialist animator, previous artist, I would say um, I really really want to encourage people to think outside of these little boxes that we we tend to put people in these days. Um, and there's a lot of warring departments in the industries and there's a lot of complaints that people have. And I think a lot of this comes down to a lack of understanding of what the other person's job is. I think that, you know, every person has a job in this industry and they are hard. And I find that in the industry, a lot of people sort of war against each other. Like the animators war against the riggers and the riggers you know, will um, have problems with the modelers and the modelers will have problem with the texture artists and the UV people and blah, blah, blah. But it's a big team effort. And so by knowing um, a really broad range of skills before you later on go and specialize is a really good thing to do. So how are we going to solve this by doing training material? <coughs> so let me just pause this and we'll come over. Um, to uh, a page. So there's obviously a long way that we can go. And if we just come back to here, we, we obviously want to be doing, you know, this is all stuff that I built like Croc. I, I model rigged and animated, didn't design it. That's by um, Murphish, um, James Costello, uh, a great concept artist. Um, this guy actually designed and, and modeled and textured. And later on, I will rig him as soon as we've got the parts in our new hive auto rigger. Natalie, I, I designed and animated her, uh, rigged to her as well. So. Um, and we can show animation of that as well later, but obviously you can do a lot in 3d and you can get really far and it's really fun stuff. However, how do we start at this stuff? And I'm going to start at the beginning and then, you know, this course that's in my brain is going to go over many, how would I say this? It's going to go over many different specialities and we're going to cover a lot over a lot of time. Um, and part of this channel is just me dumping it all down, um, sort of badly. So anyone who's got a lot of time can just watch it. Um, anyone who doesn't have time, I would encourage you to go to the site. My, my shoots on the site are very, very edited. Um, they're much more to the point, you know, you're not going to waste your time so much. Um, but here I'm just going to sort of ramble and, and build stuff and, and we're, gonna, we're just going to do a lot of stuff basically, um, cover a lot of things. Now, the first part of this course, what I wear, where I want to start is, okay, I really want to like, I have, I run the site called create 3d characters. And actually all my private students, I don't really teach them characters. I teach them much simpler stuff. I teach them prop modeling, um, lighting, uh, texturing, and that enables them to get in the, 
the door to industry really quickly um, because that's where a lot of the demand is. Um, and, and a lot of people don't realize this, but you can, you can get into the industry quite, and you can just kind of shortcut it by, by doing stuff like that. I should have that here, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that later. But I run a site called Create3D Characters, and, and what I want to be doing is making films and animating them um, and potentially creating your own games if, if you're that way inclined. Um, so where do we start? Well, what we want to do is we want to start with really simple stuff. So here we have a brick film and I, I don't know these films. I haven't watched them, <laughs> um, but I have seen a couple of brick films and, and they're really great. Now, these are oftentimes stop motion as this one is, um, the, the stop motion films, but we can do this in 3d too. And they're really fun. And, and brick Lego is sort of kind enough to say, look, if you don't make any money out of this, you can just do fan films and stuff like that. This is a, this other one, this Darth Vader versus Kylo Ren um, one, which is quite cool. And I think technically brick films should be made with Lego, but we're gonna hack it a little bit and do it in CG uh, because we are learning CG. Now, um, the reason why I've chosen Lego is that Lego is really simple and it can be really fun and you can make films out of it easily without having to be, you know, you know, have your three or four years in every different speciality. So you can um, very quickly model, rig and animate a character get it into you know Unreal Engine from Maya or Blender or wherever you are, you can, um, you can have fun and make films quickly. And it's very forgiving. I think the problem with 3D is that everyone is constantly making stuff that's way too hard for themselves and they never get to the film part, filmmaking part. So this is sort of an attempt to do a tutorial series where you can, you know, really make films and, and have a, a good time um, doing it without killing yourself. So we'll come back to here. This is a course that I did uh, a while back for one of my classes. I made this little um, Lego a character. And so we model it, uh, we rig it and we animate it <coughs> um, in that we make two cycles and link them together with this little surprise in the middle and do a little camera move, um, you know, set our widescreen so it feels a bit cinematic, all this kind of stuff. Now I'm planning on do redoing this course for the web and making it a lot better. So we're going to be rendering it as well and then potentially taking it to, um, you know, putting Quixel assets in it. So these are the Quixel assets so we can make them, you know, put little 3D assets in so it can feel really nice and real. Um, we can also uh, render it with backgrounds and, and track characters um, onto things. This is just the first part of this giant course that I have in my head. So this is like the beginner course. Um, we've got here, I've just got this little walk cycle. He looks a little bit better when he's rendered. So we're going to render it out in Arnold and different renderers. Um, have fun, take it to Unreal Engine, maybe um, render it out there, do different things. So uh, this is the first part of the course that I want to be start doing and we start just building stuff. What I want to do with this course on the Andrew Silk channel is I just want to make it really quickly and rough. That's why I don't have any lights, don't have a great camera yet. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to get a new mic so this one doesn't sit in front of my face <laughs> and I'm going to look, hopefully look a lot better in the future. I'll put a bit more effort in as I go. But uh, the problem that I've had is that I just don't make stuff. So, uh, you know, I, I really want to get this out to you guys so that you guys can learn. I'm going to be with these tutorials moving fast. So I'm going to be moving more at my speed about building stuff. And I'll just talk as I go. So I'll be a bit slower than I would be ordinarily, but I'll just talk as I go, um, talk about what I'm doing. We're going to be building Lego Man and I'm going to be making all the prep for the course that I'm going to do later and scrub up and do better. That is the plan. Let's see how I go. These things can take ages to really make nice. Um, hence, I'm going to put it down here. If I never do the course, at least you'll be able to watch it here um, on this page. So that's the introduction, guys. Um, thanks for listening. Uh, the videos will come. I'm hoping to do quite a lot of content each day, like half an hour or something um, over time, and then get that up on and dump it onto this site with very little editing. So um, that means you might, you might hear a lot of my ums and ahs, and you might see a low, lower quality, and I might have to redo things. Um, so um, just keep that in mind for anyone that's got a lot of time. If you don't have time, just skip this and go over to our Create 3D Characters YouTube channel and the website. It's going to be there for you, for those of you that want straight to the point videos. All right, guys, um, that's my introduction there. Uh, we can also, the plan is just to finish this, is we do want to like texture as well. So we can see that you can do like lots of little cool skins and stuff with um, uh, Lego. So we want to texture UV unwrap do all that kind of stuff, which I didn't do in this, you know, original course this is just quite simple stuff, but we do want to learn a little bit of texturing. Uh, we want to come over, um, get it into Quixel assets. So that it looks really real. Um, and we can do some fun stuff 
and I'm hoping this will be really good and the end result will be a lot better than what I'm showing you here. Um, much more like our brick films over here. Maybe not quite like this real. A lot of this stuff is photographed, but um, let's see how we go. So that is the plan, the first part of the plan. Later on, we will be moving on to other things, doing, uh, you know, much more technical stuff. I'll definitely be doing Hive training for you guys um, on the site very soon, which means our auto rigger, that'll go through the, the process of rigging um, and skinning Natalie. Um, as a priority, um, but there'll be other things that'll happen on the site and I'll probably have slight detours to different things like, you know, um, occasionally doing, you know, modeling characters and, and a bit of sculpting and a lot, like a little bit of rigging theory, a little bit about Maya. Um, maybe we'll dabble with Blender. We'll see how I go with that um, and other things. I think, you know, 3D is really exciting at the moment. It's just moving so fast. So let's see how we go. Lots of stuff to cover. Um, and I'll leave it at that for this first video. And um, hopefully we'll get onto the, the next uh, videos in the next few days. So there you go, guys. That's the, the introduction to this little course.